your equipment isn't properly set up, you might be missing some of the benefits that stereo can provide. Let the bass kick.
Let the bass kick. ramai pelanggan datang ke kedai kita sebab UM so menjual barang-barang keperluan seperti barang-barang dapur, barang kecantikan dan barang-barang permainan. Sekarang ramai pelanggan mendapati susah nak keluar ke shopping center seperti UM Store. Sekarang kita dah masuk sama-sama lokal dengan Maybank. Dia amat senang masuk sama-sama lokal hanya buat dengan handphone saja. Sama-sama lokal dapat naikkan sales UM Store. Kita dapat sales dari kawasan 10 km ke atas seperti PJ saya mensyorkan masuk dalam sama-sama lokal untuk tingkatkan perniagaan. Because I'm a single mother, so I need some time to babysit my children, so it's the way for me to earn the income. So, KJ Velocity is an online store in Shopee, so we start join on June. We, our store have sold uh, like gadget, uh, accessory, gadget accessory and smartphone and the laptop also and others else. Uh. So, I have been working in the KJ store since I graduated from my college. I started as a part-timer, then I generated my interest in this industry since I love gadget more than beauty. So we start our business by posting on marketplace after recognize the e-commerce business opportunity. And this is how we start the gadget velocity. So beside the fast response and after sales service, we also look into fast parcel fulfillment, which is like uh, providing proper packaging to our customer. Like we use the bubble the double layer bubble to ensure the item was safe. And last, we also help our buyer to follow up their parcel also. Overall, we are satisfied with the experience in Shopee because the platform is user-friendly, easy to master also. Indeed, the MSME campaign and Shopee, they help us a lot also. So Shopee were giving us store vouchers, free advertising credit, free participation in free shipping, and also the coin cashback program in this campaign. So Shopee's integrated logistics help us lower down the operating costs because handling logistics on our own is more expensive. So we are trying with the result after joining this Panjana campaign. We managed to generate a 70,000 ringgit sales in first month we joined, uh, which is June. So and our sales was doubled up in the month of July after joining the campaign. In the month of August, we reached 400,000 ringgit in sales, which is about five times higher than we than we first time joined in Shopee. My advice to the new seller is there is no shortcut and no secret for success. Being genuine and sure of our product quality and the customer engagement is the key. Sellers should also take the effort to explore and leverage on Shopee's initiative such as free Shopee University classes to learn how to sell on Shopee. My name is Poi. I'm the online manager of Gadget Velocity.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and a very good day to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with immense pride and pleasure that I welcome you to the Go E-commerce Expo 2021. What we have for you is a four-day series of virtual conferences to fully support and assist you with the onboarding journey towards e-commerce and I can't wait for you to experience it. This event is also in line with the Belanjawan 2021 e-commerce initiative that was launched in July 2021 which aims to provide support to Malaysian micro and SMEs to onboard onto e-commerce and e-payment platforms to enhance their sales capability in e-commerce and help boost their sales. MDAC is committed to its resolve to equip and enable Malaysian businesses to navigate and thrive through these business unusual times. With strong support from the government, we aim to further catalyze the growth of e-commerce in Malaysia in line with the goals of the Malaysia Digital Economy Blueprint and our vision at MDAC to enable a progressive digital nation, advance an inclusive digital economy, and digital sovereignty. With that, I thank you all for being here and I look forward to the enlightenment and insights that you will find in the coming week. With that, I thank you and stay safe. Hi everyone, welcome back to Go E-Commerce Expo 2021 organized by Ministry of Communications and Multimedia Malaysia and Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation, MDAG. Go E-Commerce Expo with the team Save Business, Save Jobs. This year is a four days online event that is aimed to encourage local businesses to adopt e-commerce by leveraging on the Blanja One 2021 e-commerce initiative with the assistance from participating partners. To all our viewers, whether you're watching via Facebook Live, YouTube, or users who are logged into our webinar platform, you're of course encouraged to ask questions throughout the session as we'll be having a Q&A session at the end of each session. For our audience at the webinar platform or YouTube, you can uh, type your questions in the chat section. Um, and of course, for viewers who are watching via Facebook Live, you may type in your questions in the comment section. All right, for the earlier session, we had Ms. Noor Fahana and Mr. Adam Iskanda sharing to us how to grow your business with GrabFood, GrabMart and GrabPay. Let us now move on to our next topic uh, titled Sell More and Earn More as Lazada Sellers. Please help me to welcome our speaker, Mr. Jason Liao, Commercial Business Development PMO from Lazada. Hi Jason, how are you? Hey, how's it going? All right, nice welcome to, to Go E-Commerce Expo 2021. All right, so with six years of experience in business development, Jason works on crafting partnership opportunities by interacting with potential partners to expand the quality seller base on Lazada. He also helps in ensuring a healthy seller inflow into the platform, and these sellers are empowered with the right tools needed to succeed on Lazada. All right, we'll speak to Jason again during our Q&A session, so start sending in your questions as you listen to the session. Um, Lazada has prepared us a special exclusive presentation, ladies and gentlemen, today. It's exclusive for you guys, our Go e-commerce expo viewers. So without any further ado, let us now begin our session with a special presentation from Lazada. My name is Jason and I'm with the business development team at Lazada Malaysia. Today I'll be covering an interesting topic which is how can one sell more and more as a seller on Lazada. So let me just start by giving you a bit of a background on what Lazada is. So Lazada is a one-stop shop in Southeast Asia for consumers, sellers and brands. Uh, we have local operations in six countries, so not just in Malaysia, which is where we are at right, right now, but also Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand and Philippines as well. We have the highest uh, number of active consumers within Southeast Asia. We're looking at approximately 100 million annual active consumers. And we are also the fastest growing e-commerce platform within Southeast Asia itself. So how do you start your selling journey on Lazada? So to us, we want you to be your own boss with minimal setup costs. We want to remove all barriers of entry to make your selling journey much more meaningful on the platform. So what this means is that opening up a store in Lazada is actually free of charge and is commission free. So what does this mean exactly? 
as a new seller, you'll be part of Package Pintanyaga, which is our new seller on body package. And as a new seller, you'll be entitled to a host of benefits. So let me just take you through what some of the benefits that is entitled. Why sell on Lazada? Let me tell you why. 0% commission fee and listing fee is forever free. 350 ringgit sponsored ads credit. Store-wide free shipping for 30 days. 90 days dedicated support from Lazada University. And weekly new seller campaign exposure. Check out the What's Hot campaign for new sellers. 500 ringgit worth of benefits for new sellers and amazing support all with package Pintar Niaga. Wait no more. Sign up as a seller today. Together, we unlock a better future. Now, allow me to share some testimonials from our successful sellers on the platform. Our first hero, which is Ken Wong, is part of Happy Hour. So Ken joined us in early June and he got his first sales during the 6-6 campaign. So uh, he got more than about 100 orders in the his first month. And of course, as a new seller, he was under the Pintaniaga package and which allows him to enjoy store free shipping and that has helped him greatly during his selling journey on the platform. Second hero is uh, Shah and Shao from Unit Electric, and uh, they also uh, provided the Pintanaga package for new sellers. And for the first month, they made approximately 40,000 worth of sales within the first month itself. Uh, here's a bit of a testimonials for some of our sellers as well. I still remember that first order was worth 1,400 ringgit. My cousin called me up and said, Hey, do you think they're going to run away with our money? In the future trend, it would be online. When we hit the first order, if we never embark onto that, all of us wouldn't be here today. I think to the new sellers out there, the most common problem that everyone asks is what to sell. Now, Lazada's tagline is everyone can sell. My tagline to you is everything can sell. So now that you've understood what Package Pintanyaga is all about, and you've also heard some of the testimonials from our successful sellers that are on the platform, right now we want you to jumpstart your business and to get your first order within 21 days. And we've summarized this in four important steps. So first of all, step one is that we want you to get started uh, and get familiarized yourself in Seller Center. So three little meal steps that you need to accomplish is uh, mini step number one is to create your seller account, which is to provide you store details, your store name, and also the warehouse address. Uh, mini step number two is to upload your products. So this is this is to ensure that you have products on the platform to be able to sell. And mini step number three is to upload your bank details. This is to facilitate the finance payout whenever you get your orders. Uh, number two is to take advantage of the Pintanega package that's provided to you as a new seller. So please use the 150 ringgit uh, free ad credits to actually boost your product's visibility and to to tell your customers all about the free shipping that you've been given as part of Pintanyaga. And number three, please join the What's Hot Today campaign. So What's Hot is our new seller campaign specifically designed for new sellers only. Uh, this is something I'll be covering in the next slide in detail. And last but not least, uh, to participate in the Zara's Best Dead Assortment Contest. So the more products you upload on the platform, the higher chances you have in order to win some of the prizes that we have as part of this contest. Right, so what is What's Hot campaign? So this is an exclusive benefit only for new sellers. This campaign is created for new sellers participation only. So there is no worry about trying to jostle with some of the more established sellers on the platform. So this happens on a weekly basis and some of the benefits will be you may potentially double the number of visitors that come to your store. Uh, this helps to build awareness and also exposure for your store itself. And by participating, you're able to target for better followers and buyers to be able to drive better sales and conversion and also decreases your chances to, you know, to participate, participate in future mega campaigns. Speaking of mega campaigns, so we would like you to be part of our mega campaign as well. So the upcoming ones are 11, 11 and 12, 12, which is happening in November and December respectively. And some of the potential benefits you can gain as part of the participation in the um, Zara's mega campaign is that you will see a huge increase in terms of the shoppers that come to your store and also in terms of sales as well. And this is because uh, they are considered one of the larger ones uh, in 2021. And also in terms of uh, shipping, you can actually get your parcel shipped as soon as the next day post mega campaign. So let's say if it's 11-11, you can get your products shipped as soon as the next day, which is the 12th of November. So that's pretty interesting. 
So here's an overview of the 2021 key campaign dates. Uh, so do look at quarter four as we move on towards uh, double level and double drop. These are the two mega campaigns as mentioned earlier. So here's a glimpse of what goes on behind the scenes as we at Lazada prepare for the upcoming 11-11 campaign. Let's check it out. Hello everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Honey. And I'm Jacqueline. And we are from the Lazada Seller Engagement Team. And today we are at the Colorino Warehouse. As you can see, the boxes behind me, they are all ready for tonight's sale. So all this have actually been prepared about a week ago. So now we are going to see what they have been up to at the zero hour. A few hours before it hits 12 o'clock tonight. So let's check it out. Let's go! And now we are at the packing area. Uh, it's almost going to hit 6 p.m. soon and they are still busy packing their bags, shoes, everything that you can think of from Carlo Reno. everyone, Carlo Reno Warehouse at the 11th hour, so stay tuned for what will happen at 12 a.m. tonight. And if you want to know more about Carlo Reno's deals, don't forget to check out on Lazada app as they have up to 75% store-wide and vouchers with also flash deals that's happening at 12 a.m. tonight. And for all you sellers out there, we know you're busy packing and getting ready for 12 a.m. tonight, but please don't forget to share your experiences with us and the hashtag is... My 11 is better than yours. Before we go off, we would like to remind you guys to watch Lazada 11 Super Show live tonight on TV3 and NTV7. What time, Jacqueline? At 10 p.m. tonight. So for all of you guys at 12 a.m. tonight, don't forget, happy selling and happy shopping. Right now, you have an overview of uh, the new seller benefits that you're entitled to. You've also heard some uh, successful stories from our sellers. Uh, you've also had an overview on how can one start selling in 21 days or less to kickstart your selling journey. So you're probably wondering in terms of support, what the Zada is doing for the new sellers that come on board to the platform. So let me just take you through some of the initiatives that the Zada has. So in terms of support, uh, we are utilizing the Zada University. So what this means is that you're able to gain access to a bunch of uh, courses and live stream sessions to get you through to start selling in 21 days or less. So what's beautiful about the Zada University is that uh, these training sessions are done uh, very regularly, very frequently. Uh, it's conducted in the main three languages, which are PM, English and also Chinese. And they're especially designed for new sellers. So of course, if you're unable to participate in the live stream session, you can always replay that whenever you're ready at your leisure. You will also be able to participate in our masterclass, which is conducted uh, once every quarter. Uh, so it's on a quarterly basis. And this is where you're able to learn some advanced selling tactics from our certified Lazada trainers. They are also uh, our successful trainers on the platform as well. So this is where you can learn some really advanced uh, selling techniques to help support your growth. And at the same time, you're able to participate in our Facebook seller community. So we do have a Facebook group. Uh, it's a community that is very much thriving. I think as of now, we have about 21 1,000 sellers in counting and we do have um, um, some members of uh, the Lazada team and also some seller ambassadors that you're able to engage with and able to ask a lot of questions that you may have when it comes uh, as part of your selling journey. So uh, besides that, uh, there's also some other um, channels when it comes to support and this is mainly done through what we call as PIC or the Partner Support Center. So what this entails is that um, we have live chat. So our partner support agents are able to communicate with you via uh, live chat chat uh, with any kind of topics when it comes to perhaps uh, signing up if you have issues in registering or logging in this is something that uh, the live chat uh, system is able to assist you uh, we also have a uh, chatbot which we call ada uh, ada is available 24 7 as compared to a live chat agent which is limited to a specific time period and then this is a ai based uh, chatbot is able to assist you with most of the questions that uh, you may have and then last but not least there's also a master form which you are able to raise uh, internally within the partner support center system itself and this is able to help you to escalate your inquiries and uh, this will provide you some support when it comes to the escalation of your topics. Also, I'd like to introduce you to Lazada Service Marketplace. So it's a marketplace for uh, Lazada sellers to engage with some of our hand-picked uh, Lazada partners who are providing support in terms of uh, various activities. So for instance, if you're looking for uh, product photography services, if you're looking to get your store decorated uh, professionally uh, in terms of graphic design, or if you're looking for, let's say, uh, business supplies in terms of courier bags, bubble wraps, or even something as complex as getting your, your products as 
shift in terms of logistics, uh, this is the one-stop center for you to get that kind of support through our Lazada partners. So this is perhaps one of the favorite <laughs> sections of the presentation where uh, I'm sure you like to know when would Lazada be paying you money, right, when it comes to finance. So when it comes to the payment of orders, uh, usually on the Monday to Sunday, uh, orders accumulated during that period would be provided on the following Monday. So that's an illustration of um, how the payout happens on a week-to-week -week basis. So payouts happen every week on a weekly basis, every Monday. All right, so how do you sign up on your platform with Lazada? We summarize this in three very simple steps. So step one is to go to Seller Center and sign up as a marketplace seller. Or you can scan the little QR code that you see on the screen right there. Um, be sure you fill in your store details and also to update your warehouse address. Uh, step two is to upload your products. Make sure you upload at least five products. So this ensures that you earn seller picks, which helps to greatly increase traffic to your store. And then step three is to complete your profile by uploading your bank account details. So this is to ensure a smooth payment process of your payouts. Last but not least, allow me to introduce our upcoming Lazada Masterclass 5th Editions team. So our 5th Editions team is the year to learn and to earn. This is happening between the 30th to 31st October to the 6th PM. And right now we're offering a 50% early bird discount. But just for you folks today, we're offering free tickets. So be sure to sign up here or to scan the QR code that you see. Be sure to sign up as a seller. Another big quick recap of what masterclass is this is a advanced uh, selling technique class so, uh, conducted by our certified lazada trainers to prepare you for the upcoming 11 and chuff chuff campaigns and so be sure to take advantage of this opportunity and that is the end of our presentation so i hope that you've learned a thing or two today so what else are you waiting for be sure to join us here at lazada and to grow with us together and um, i hope you guys stay safe and i'll see you soon bye Zara All right, thanks, Jason, for the sharing. And with that, we will move on to the Q&A session. So to all the viewers, if you want to know anything from Jason or anything in regards to Lazada, feel free to type in your questions in the chat section on your right if you are watching uh, from YouTube or the webinar platform. And for those who are watching on Facebook, you can type in your questions in the comment section, which is right below. All right, so we're going to start off with the first one coming in from... Jenny, so Jason, what is the requirement for my brand to be in Las Mall? Right, that's a bit of a complex question, but for Jenny, uh, you would require your brand trademark documents. I think that's very important to have that. And also, if you are a brand owner or if you're an authorized distributor, you need to have a letter uh, of uh, undertaking from the uh, company itself, that's essentially the brand owner. So with that documents, uh, that's something that will allow you to be a Las Mall seller onto the platform. All right, so that's for Jenny. Um, next, we have a question from Julie. Uh, I'm new to Lazada. Will I be able to join the 1111 campaign in time? Hey, Julie, yes, you can, most definitely. So if you can join us within the next week, hopefully, um, this is something that we're going to prepare you in terms of uh, getting ready for the 11 11 campaign. So that happens in about a month and a half's time. So if you join by now, you'll be just in time for 11 11. So they are, I mean, it is still okay to join right now, but it had to be like right now. Lah. As soon as possible, because we do want to have some time in order to prepare you for the eventual event, right? So the sooner the better, I would say. Okay, there you go, uh, Julie. Uh, it seems like that's the theme uh, with most of our partners' answers or so. It's always as soon as possible. Like, right now would be the best. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay, uh, next question coming in from Kelly. Oh, that's an interesting question we have here. Now, if, I, uh, if the product title I put in as tomato sauce and the buyer is searching for ketchup, <laughs> Will my product be in the search result on Lazada? It's a very interesting question. Uh, yes and no. I would suggest to include as many keywords as possible because this works on an algorithm basis, right? So the more keywords that you put in that's relevant to your product, the better your products will be able to appear on the search engine. All right. Okay. Um, next, we have a question coming in from Hamid. 
Huh. I think a lot of other sellers can also relate to this question. Um, I used to, um, I'm selling on Lazada, but there are so many other merchants selling the same product. How do I beat them? <laughs> oh, very good question. Very good question. Um, in terms of just differentiating with the other sellers who are selling similar products, I would definitely recommend you to adopt what we call as the Power of Five or promotional tools to be exact. So it's at least are the tools that are available for the seller's disposal in order to stand out. So for instance, you are selling the similar product, but you want to stand out. So you would offer things like promotions, promotions without attractive, because I would think that not all sellers would offer the similar promotions. So with the application of different promotional tools to attract your sellers, are you biased, sorry. And this is something that you allow you to differentiate yourself. All right. Okay, so hope that answers your question, Hamid. Uh, with that, I hope you're a successful battle with the rest of the other sellers. Okay. Next question coming in from um, Josh. Uh, Josh would like to know, can I upload less than five products as a new seller in Lazada? Uh, well, John, you can do that, but of course, the more products you have, the better, right? So assuming that uh, you are working at a brick and mortar store and you enter a store, you see there's only two products on sale. That's not something that's very attractive, isn't it? If you do have a couple of products on hand, you are... Sorry, Jason, I think I lost you there for a bit. Can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me now? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, sorry, can you just yes, repeat please. the answer because I, I, I think the audio didn't come through earlier. Sorry about that. Can you hear me right now? Yes. Yes, as I was just saying to Josh, uh, of course you can upload less than five, but just imagine that if you are in a brick and mortar store, you are going to a shopping center, for instance, and if you were to enter a store, you see perhaps just one product on the, on the shelf, it would be quite a bit of a strange experience, right? So obviously, the more products you have, the better visibility you have on the store, and that actually drives better traffic. So I would definitely recommend to upload more than five if you can. Right. I guess that, that, that I suppose that's the reason why in your earlier presentation you did recommend um, five listing, at least five product listing. I suppose the more the better. Of course. Yeah. Five would be right. the bare minimum, I would say. <laughs> okay. There you go. To Josh. I mean, you can upload less than five, but ideally five and above. The more the better. Okay, um, next question coming in from Ravi. Can I sell pre-packed food uh, such as frozen mutton uh, and I do my, own do, uh, do my own delivery in this case? Yes, that is definitely possible. Uh, we do have logistics partners that are able to help you with the frozen items, but if you do have your own transportation to be able to deliver, there's something we can set up for you on the platform. No problem. Right, so I mean in this case, because she's doing, um, in this case he's doing his own delivery, but what if um, they don't do that? Would that be possible? As in like not be able to deliver on your own? Yeah, uh, yep, yeah sure, definitely. We have a third party logistics partner they've been working very closely with and they're able to assist with that behalf. So uh, we can show restrict based on uh, where the seller is located. Uh, if you are handling a specific type of product, whether it's frozen fresh, that's something that you can really assist. All right, okay, there you go, Ravi. Okay, next we have a question from Erna. There are many fake products uh, on the platform. How do we reach out to Lazada as a consumer to report products which are listed, uh, product listed which are fake? Right, so if you go into the help center, we have an option where you can actually reach out to a partner support or customer care, for instance. Uh, that's where you can actually share if you have the URL of the link, and that's something that we will take up internally to ensure that these listings have been taken care of. All right, so to Erna, just get those listings reported and I'm sure Lazada will look into them and remove those, any uh, fake listing, product listing. Okay, uh, next question we have from Wei Ling. So she said that I'm a brand owner and also a manufacturer. So, and I suddenly see so many of my products which I've never authorized these sellers to sell on my behalf. Um, how can we contact Lazada to remove these sellers? Uh, if Wailing has a contact details that was provided, I think we can get a team to reach out to her to assist on that aspect because um, this is something that we do take great importance at. So if you do notice there are other sellers who are actually uh, essentially copying your listings, uh, either as a counterfeit perspective, that's something that we will definitely be able to help. So uh, if Wailing is able to reach out to us uh, at the contact details that you see in partner support, then we reach out to Wailing on this. Okay, great. So if waiting, you're still uh, on the stream, perhaps you can leave down your contact details or just reach out to 
the representative from Lazada. Um, they will be contacting you to assist you further with that. Right. Um, okay, next, I think there's a question in regards to export in this case. Can I sell on Lazada Indonesia, Singapore, or Thailand? And what are the requirements for me to sell? Mm, uh, that's a good question. So we have a couple of uh, initiatives when it comes to cross-border selling. Uh, you could either consider the EWTP uh, route or this is something that you want to engage one of our cross-border teams to be able to do. So I think the question depends on whether you are starting to sell from within Malaysia out to the other countries or are you looking to set up your own local presence in those countries itself. So this is something that Lizard can also be able to assist through a cross-border initiative. Right, all right, so that is for Amira. Okay, next question, let's see. Okay, that's one coming from Annie. Uh, does, Lada, Laz, does Lazada, pardon me, has same day delivery? And if you have, how can we be part of this? Right, uh, if you are a existing seller on the platform, uh, do reach out to one of your um, agents who are actually handling your case and mention that you would like to uh, actually engage to a same day delivery. We would have a uh, authorized agent, go get, who is able to uh, help you establish that setup. All right, so Annie, that's the answer. Okay, next up, we have a question from Noor. Uh, what are the charges for Lazada to manage my stocks and fulfillment? Is there any minimum stock requirement? Uh, it depends on what sort of products are you looking at. So we have a couple of methods essentially to deal with the stock management. So uh, we have a service called Fulfilled by Lazada or what we call it internally as FBL. So essentially you would actually engage uh, Lazada to uh, be sort of your order management and uh, parking your inventory and also the fulfill of the order itself. So this depends on the number of products that you have. Uh, we do have that uh, actual write up in the uh, help center itself if you go into our website. Okay, let's see. Um, we have next question is on delivery. So Ravi would like to know if I have my own delivery fleet and don't want to work with third-party logistics service provider, is that allowed on Lazada? Yes. So if you are a seller on Lazada, you just have to go into the back end, the uh, seller center, for instance, and then you just need to uh, set yourself as uh, you want to do your delivery on your own. So just look for uh, the setting called uh, DBS or delivered by seller, and then the instructions will take you through the next steps as to how do you set this up internally for you to deliver on your own. Great. So in this case, the flexibility is with the seller, whether they want to choose to work with third party or exclusively with their own delivery fleet. Most definitely. If you want to just uh, remove all the headache of sorting on your logistics and want to engage a partner, we also do have that option as well. Great. I think perhaps uh, the better thing for Ravi to do is perhaps get in touch with Lazada you know, and kind of understand perhaps what a benefit of working with third-party logistic provider as well you know, as mm -hmm. an additional option to your uh, buyers. And not to worry, of course, we'll be showing the QR code at the end of this session later on. I've just got to scan the, the QR, fill in your details. I've got a team from Lazada. We'll get in touch with you with more information. Okay, so let's see. Moving on to the next question. Okay, there's a request coming in from Jenny. And she said, can you repeat the offer given to new sellers under Blanjawan 2021, please? Right, so the top three uh, benefits I would recommend is uh, we would not charge any kind of commission, 0% commission or listing fees as a new seller. Uh, benefit number two, you'll be receiving your free 150 ringgit free ad credits to be used. So what the ad credits use is that you're able to use this to boost your product visibility on the platform. So this is 150 ringgit free of charge. And then the third major benefit that I would definitely recommend is that you'll be able to enjoy free shipping for one month as a new seller. Right. And would they need to be a registered SSM um, to be eligible for this? Uh, not necessarily. If you are an individual seller, uh, you just require your IC. That's all we need. But if you are a corporate seller or a business seller, if you have an SSM, then you will be identified as a business or corporate seller. But either way, for both types of seller, you'll be entitled to those benefits, as I mentioned. All right. Great. So that is for Jenny. Um, and next... Okay, this is a question coming from James. Um, is there any integration between Lazada and Alibaba platform? Uh, Alibaba as in the Taobao platform. So essentially, Lazada is sort of running on the Alibaba, Alibaba platform, if that answers your question. All right. 
And okay, I have a personal question actually, mm -hmm. because I, of course I'm I'm um, like many of our viewers. I'm also a shopper on Lazada, and I do tune into Lazada Live most of the time. So as a seller, how do they get uh, be featured on on Lazada Live? So the last live feature is a very special tool. Uh, this of course requires a bit of a interview or a process to ensure that you are suitable towards our uh, platform in terms of what we want to achieve, right? So this is something that uh, we can definitely set up with the team to have this established for sure. Right. So oh, we do have another um, viewer from the earlier session that, you know, of course, a lot of platforms, a lot of partners do offer live selling uh, capabilities to the sellers, but they are camera shy. What are your mm -hmm. advice in this case? to those sellers who, you know, a bit camera shy. La. Uh, if you're camera shy, I think you can do like a slideshow, but I think slideshows are a bit uh, restrictive and also one dimensional. So yeah, I think just a bit of a simple presentation or just speaking onto the camera as to what you would like to sell. I think uh, baby steps would definitely be my advice. Right. And of course, personally, I think the best way to overcome being camera shy is just talk more to the camera. Don't worry, you will not sound like a crazy person. All right. Okay, <laughs> let's moving on now. Um, we have a question coming in from James. Ah, huh, rather interesting question. What is your update on your hub in KLIA? Oh, I don't have visibility on that just yet. Uh, but I'm still looking into it to see what's up. It's the EWTP hub, I believe. I believe that's still ongoing, but I've not received any updates in recent times. Right, okay. So don't worry, James. Perhaps you want to fill up the contact form as well. So when Lazada contact you, you can ask them too. Okay. Uh, next question, also from James. Um, the integration to Timo or Taobao. Can I list my right. product there since they are in the same Alibaba group? Uh, yes and no, because the teams are very much different. So if you would like to be featured on the China side, which is in Taobao or Tmall, uh, that requires a different set of integration. Uh, there is definitely no integration between the Lazada platform and also the Taobao platform. But uh, it is definitely achievable, but it's a very rare request for sure. Right. Okay. Next, we have a question from Sharon Go. All right. I believe it could be our speaker from yesterday. <laughs> by the same name. Do you have an API for DBS? Uh, yes, we do. And yes, we absolutely do. How would seller get to find more information regarding to that? Uh, there is a article on the help center on the API integration. All right, there you go. Uh, next, we have a question from Nirmala. I'm doing drop shipping. Can I sell through Lazada? Yes. Yes, you can. So answer is yes to Nimarla. Perhaps we are good for a couple more questions. Um, there's a question coming from Muiz. Um, I'm currently selling Saro. What is the best strategy to achieve a higher sale on Lazada? Well, join more campaigns. That's all I can say. <laughs> join more campaigns. Uh, ensure that you uh, have your promotional tools adopted. Make sure you have your uh, free shipping in place uh, and also seller vouchers. That's very important. Yeah, I guess most of the time, perhaps the seller will need to put yourself in the shoes of a consumer. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're a consumer, you are looking to buy a sarong. What would the first thing you look for? Discount. <laughs> so I guess, <laughs> like like you say, you said. I mean, they did it take part in more campaigns. You know making them more visible and then, you know, that consumer are feeling like getting a good deal by buying this sarong right now. Okay. Uh, next, we have a question from Yaniki Yen. I had registered a seller account, but not active after that. Uh, do I entitle in this case uh, from the initiative? Uh, in terms of the benefits, uh, it mm. depends on when you were registered. If you were registered uh, post March the 16th, then you will still be entitled to those benefits. But however, if you registered before the March of 16th, then no, you will no longer be entitled to those benefits as mentioned. Right, there you go. So, Yaniki Yan, if you have registered after, on and before March 16th, yes. Uh, before March 16th, unfortunately, you will not be entitled. Okay. Uh, next, we have James once again. Okay, James has another question. Can I integrate WMS to Lazada? I'm not too sure what WMS is. Uh, we'll have to find out what's up in the next question if James has it. 
Right. So, uh, James, if you are tuning in, perhaps you want to elaborate what WMS is. Okay. Uh, next, we have a question from Michael. Do you have a category for homestays on Lazada? Uh, yes, we do. In terms of homestays, so this is something that is parked under the digital goods category. So if you were to go into the app, uh, just look for the little tap in the home screen, uh, a title that top up coupons and vouchers. So if you tap into that, you can see other different types of uh, travel, hospitality related products that we have on the platform. Okay, so the answer is yes to uh, Michael. Ah, all right. James have elaborated. It's referring to warehouse management system, WMS. Can I integrate that with Lazada? Uh, yes, uh, if there, we have an easy API integration, so depending on which systems they have, uh, this, the integration should be quite seamless. All right, so again, perhaps it will be through the seller center, as, as opposed to get more information? Um, yes, and also the uh, help center itself with all the articles. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, perhaps we are good for, say, two more questions. Um, we have one from Yusni. Um, back to the last live just now. So the live selling platform, how can we engage the live seller to promote our products? How do we engage live sellers to promote our products? The As live, in like, I uh, suppose the live buyers, la, the buyers in this case, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So if you're looking to engage with them, I think on the platform itself, the interaction is quite direct. You are actually interactive with buyers themselves because you are able to introduce certain promotional deals that are just exclusive during that live session. But if the second question would be if you're engaging a uh, KOL to do the live streaming on your behalf, then that's a separate conversation. So it depends on what uh, she's looking for. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so perhaps we are good for one final question. Let me see here. Um, does Lazada allow all types of seller in the tourism category? Uh, yes, in terms of just overall tourism, most broad cases, yes. The answer is yes. Okay. So it depends so, on if you're a hospitality or an F&B mm -hmm. outlet, you can be featured on the platform. So not just for homestays that we mentioned earlier, so I suppose... Nope. Mm. nope. All right. Okay, so with that, Jason, thank you so much for taking part uh, and joining us today here at Go E-Commerce Go e Expo. And to all the viewers who took part in the Q&A, thank you for your questions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to know more about Lazada's offer, please scan the QR code right now on your right and fill in your contact details. Lazada will then get in touch with you with further information. We will now break for the most important thing for this afternoon, lunch. And next, we're going to listen to Mr. Tae Ji Yoon and Mr. Simon Lai from Subplace. They will be sharing about creating options for your e-commerce store through subscription business. So see you guys later after lunch at 2.30 p.m. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it.